What's going on guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today in this video I want to show you how to use Blender to make some really sick photos. So uh, let's get into it. So as you can see right off the bat, this is a 3D set that I made. Now I did end up doing four different shots. So here is shot one, shot two, shot three, and shot four. And as you can notice they're you know slightly different angles so how would you go about organizing everything so that you can do this and keep consistent lighting and whatnot. Well, we're gonna get right into that, but first, you know, I don't really need to get into the set. It's it's pretty simple. Um, it's just a couple cubes, you know, with some bevels on them, a plane for the floor. Obviously, there's textures on stuff, and then in the back, I have this fire, which if I hit the space bar, it's actually it's procedural. Um, you can get it on my Gumroad. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, so the the set's pretty basic. You can see this is just a red plane back here. Um, so, and I do have a light. I have one light up here. So anyways, that's that's the set, but I want to more so talk about, you know, organizing organizing stuff. So, as you can see up here in the scene collection, and I think it's really important that we spend a little bit of time on this because, you know, there's always like modeling tutorials or, you know, how to do this, how to do that, but this is really important, especially if you have clients and you're doing like say photo shoots for clients, maybe they want changes, maybe they want you know different edits and it's just good to stay organized so if I turn off this first IAP one which IAP I call that for you know I use that for my images as planes um, that's what that stands for so if I go to two you can see that I have a different pose here so and then likewise I have IAP three and then IAP four right here so I've got these four different images as planes in here and I've got two different cameras so I have a camera for the full body so if I click that and go into that one that's the look we get so if I turn off the first images planes and then I add that second one in I've got the same shot different pose you know and of course when you're taking the pictures it's good to keep your camera angles consistent also and then if I go to this camera close-ups here and I hit this little drop down arrow and change it to this camera now when I turn on my close-up shots you can see everything works out really nice and everything's consistent as far as the lighting and the overall look um, so it's really good to stay organized when it comes to that um, of course you know within my set folder I've got the all the objects I used to model the set um, which in this on this right here if we go to the shading for the final render I did have another texture in there Let's just go to this right here. Sorry. So I have another texture on here. If we go down. I just it my laptop gets really slow, so I didn't plug it in. But if you want to see what it looks like, just to give um, some light disbursement by hitting that noise bump there in the final render. So I think it looks cool. So yeah, that's this is basically the set. Well, I mean, this is the set. It's it's really simple, but I think it's I actually really like the way this set turned out. And it's just again, it's just so awesome doing this stuff in Blender. I mean, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I have a ton of videos on my channel, Purple Park Studios, about how to do this stuff with video, how to do this stuff with photos, just all kinds of different things. So check out the videos. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.